Hey everybody, so the rut has officially begun. This is my hunt from November 3rd uh, and November 4th of 2023 down in Anderson, South Carolina. Uh, the video has improved dramatically since um, the last couple and I got everything on film. I really hope you all enjoy it. And uh, we did, spoiler alert, we did get a deer down on the ground. So uh, you will get some pretty exciting video with that. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I, I'm, I'm really quite proud of it. So. Well, this time I got it on video. Camera wobbled a little bit. But it was on video. And she damn near did a backflip running out of here. Heard a crash. And, uh, <laughs> it's a big fucking doe. It's a big doe. It's not what we came here for, looking for necessarily in the rut and everything else, but, you know, at the end of the day, this is about conservation and management and food production. As a trophy doe. <laughs> Broke a shoulder on that exit. Bolt in something, uh, pull it, pull it, pull it in. Yeah. All right. What's up, everybody? Um, so I'm taking my boots off, uh, it was a long night, went to the processor, got the dough, skinned out, quartered out, she's in the cooler now, uh, gonna go home with her, and, uh, <laughs> that was a good hunt, that was a really good hunt, I'm glad I finally started getting things on video, I think I figured out the right way to do that, hopefully you guys agree, um, so a couple things y'all didn't see in the video is I could see that doe in my periphery on the left. And I didn't want to move the camera and the gun and everything. And uh, so I waited for her to come through. Once she was on camera, I tried to get her stopped. She was kind of moving. She kind of saw some movement in the blind and everything else. So I had to kind of be patient and take the shot uh, carefully. And then did so. And as y'all saw, and then... Uh, she ran to just the edge of the field. 
And just as she drops out of your vision on the camera, she drops out of mine and she drops and she dies there. Um, not a single drop of blood. And the bullet didn't actually come out the backside, broke the shoulder and then got caught up in the skin. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so here you can see my like next day kind of set up. I've got the decoy off to the right. I hit it with a couple bleats right out the gate just to kind of get things moving. And there you can start seeing pretty early in the morning does starting to peek out. Um, and they're just kind of moving in and out, checking out the decoy and uh, seeing what's going on over there by me. Um, they kind of make their way up to it and check out the decoy for a while. Um, and check out the blind. The blind isn't usually there on that power line. Um, and kind of make up their mind about it. But this is kind of an intersection where over here you have kind of like bedding. And then over here you have uh, the feeders and where all the deer kind of hang out where I hunted the night before and shot that doe. And so this is kind of a natural intersection. Um, that a lot of the bigger bucks and obviously the does um, kind of used to cross through. And the problem with hunting this spot, it's a great spot to catch them all in, you know, as they are kind of crossing over. Um, the problem with hunting it, though, is especially if it's like a bigger buck that kind of has its nose to the ground and he's just trucking, um, going back to his bed um, after a night of playing around or going out to, you know, start chasing does or whatever. Um, you only have a very brief amount of time while they're crossing uh, to get a shot opportunity. And so the decoy actually worked out exactly kind of how I wanted it to, which is these deer, whenever they're crossing over, are pausing, coming, checking her out, trying to kind of figure out what it is, look it over. The blind had been there for about a week, so they had gotten used to that. Bucks had been moving, daylighting with the blind there, and then put out the decoy, and the idea was, you know, buck nose to the ground, He's going to see that doe. Maybe I can give it a bleat, and he'll definitely see that doe. He'll give it a pause, and I'll have a shot opportunity. Um, so it was, the, it was the right plan. It was absolutely the right game plan, um, you know, throughout this entire thing. And the does were incredibly interested in her as well. Um, so it, it, it's working. Um, it definitely worked. This happened like three times where they would just like stomp and kind of approach and approach and approach and then make up their minds that they didn't like it and dip out. And that's kind of the downside to the decoys is like if it's just a buck that sees it, it gives you that great shot opportunity, but the other deer don't like it as much um, once they figure out what it is. But you see, I mean, a little bit later, they just, they kind of like, okay, whatever, you know? crossing over didn't stop any of them i would assume that this is some of the same deer it's not all different deer but <laughs> decoy works uh yeah i mean gosh it's a shame that i only have two doe tags for south carolina you don't really want to take too many does during the rut though and that's one of the things that, uh, that's one of the things that was kind of like hard about that decision to shoot that doe um, on Saturday afternoon was just like she was a healthy, mature adult doe. So that's the one you want to take. Um, but is it, you know, two into the rut now? Am I hurting my chances of seeing a bigger buck? I don't think so after seeing all this the next day. Like there's a lot of activity. Um, and a lot of reason for bucks to be hanging out. Um, that's just a doe crossing out in the back behind the power line. Um, she big girl. I, I saw multiple big does, big, healthy, mature does. This is cool. This is exactly what I was hoping uh, a bigger buck would do is this guy came in, nose to the ground and uh, the doe caught his eyes, so he paused. Hey, everybody. So it was a great weekend hunt. Obviously, we got a nice doe down on the ground. 
Um, she's wonderful. I'm going to start butchering her up here over the next couple days. Might do some video of that, might not. Um, really, really happy with that hunt overall. We didn't get uh, a big buck. We saw a couple younger dinks. Um, got a lot of everything pretty much on camera. Um, and we're going back again this next weekend while the rut's up and running. So, uh, wish us luck and you guys will be coming with me, um, in camera form as always. Thanks for watching.